I thought I shut my phone off. Now I'm going to have to splice it again. Darn it. I'm probably not even shutting it off right. Anyway. Uh, I just love them. I just absolutely love them. And see, she sews around it, which adds something to it. I'm going to have to get myself a sewing machine. I never was a big sewer, but I could do a straight line. And I was thinking I used this one, but I think maybe it was another one. I'm not a pretty um, stick pad. I don't know about you guys, but those salespeople, those robocalls have gotten me to where I can't stand it. I really can't stand it. And trim. I'm pretty. Give me a lot of it. But you can paint this too. If you want it a different color. And I have little rhinestones on the ends. And I'll tell you, I did not look through everything. I looked at a few things. Now, this box got a little mangled because scraps and bits. Bits always remind me of England. And look at all the little things. These are so cute. I love scraps and bits and miniatures and I just do just like that bag of tellies gave me the other day with all those little things in it. Aren't they cute? I love them. Thank you, Roxy. I love them. Okay, and see, she just put this little put around the edges. And here's the little one out of satin. Somebody was saying they were running out of satin for flowers. And if you let me know, I think I still have quite a bit of satin left. But that happened to be in a video I just happened to be watching from 197, no, 19, wait, 2017. I don't even know what year it is. Um, some of this, I, I use this a lot with flowers. I forget what went to college. And look, here's an applique. There may have been one I gave her, and she put a little green or blue on it. And then, maybe I didn't, because these match. Pretty. I like that color. Okay. These. You probably should have kept these, Roxy, because I sent you a few orange things that I thought would work. They're pretty. Handmade for you. I'm going to try to remember to put... I did some little cards up of my own. I have a lot of my cards from when I did permanent makeup, like a whole box. So I decided to like use use them, the other side of them. Here's World Rose. Isn't that pretty? I wonder if she crocheted these. She can crochet, I know. She's like me, she's, what is it? Um, I don't know, something of something, master of none, but she's a master of everything. I really like that one. 
Looks like she got it off of something. Like me, I bought a purse once at Goodwill. I mean, it had a million flowers on it that I cut off. Little world rose. And some of these little paper. Doohickey things. I like them. I've used, I have some that um, Lori Smith sent me. And you know, in the beginning, I didn't know like what to do with uh, that stuff. And now some of the stuff I give, I, I gave away, I wish I hadn't because it's like now I know what I'm supposed to do with them. That's pretty. And there was more stuff in here. Hopefully it's in this box or I got put away or something. I hope not. And Roseanne has, like I said, she sent me this weeks ago and I haven't done this yet. I had sent her one of, of just scraps and stuff and I always tell her, don't don't even bother doing one, you know, on that stuff. But I did make her a couple things on this one, so she'll be doing that one of these days when she's not so busy. Now look at this. It's it's some um, wax paper, I think. I mean, if you say you can't make a bag out of wax paper and whatever you find around the house, you're sadly mistaken. And look at all the... So funny. Because half... You know, as far as doilies go, I mean, the smaller ones, there's not only so many you can... kinds you can have. So, it's almost like we end up passing them back and forth to each other. <laughs> I like these. I like them all. But you can never have enough doilies. Oh, and I like this. Cut the little flowers out and the little squares. Remember that one doily I had? It was a long time ago. <clears throat> it had it was like a monster doily. It had that big middle piece and then all those do baby doilies attached. Now that was really something. I still have, I gave a, most of it away, but I still have one piece. Isn't that cool? I just learned so much from these wonderful people who know how to do all this stuff. And then look at this. Some more of that. It's either like a light vinyl or it was a sample or something she sprayed on it. I don't know. I have to ask her. But look, there's the picture. Isn't that cool? I just love that. See? And that's all her little bits and pieces. I mean, I have maybe have that kind of blue, but not that type. That's really cool. And this, my kids think I'm a die, uh, a dying freak because I'm forever. I kept my stuff in the refrigerator for like two weeks, so in case I felt like dying something, and I always had something sitting out there dying. But she got a nice green out of this, and I know she dyed it. And mine, 
a lot of times I, I go through different people's um, dyeing methods and take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And sometimes mine will get dark, like on the outside where it picks up more pigment. And um, Margaret, MRST7, she said she wets hers first. She dampens it a little bit. So every time I go throw it in, I'd hurry up and take it back and dampen it. And it seemed to help blue and then the gold. I think I sent her that piece. I mean, how do you keep track? That's why I want to wait until a couple people get their packages so I don't send the same thing. Pretty. That light green with pink is really pretty. And I love this. I better stop sending stuff and get moving on making stuff. It takes me so long to send stuff because I'm like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And, oh, they'll like this. Oh, they'll like that. And then pretty soon it's over, especially if it's international four pounds. I really like that. To ask her how she got that one. She dyed that one. The lavender. And then the green and yellow beads. Hmm. I guess I'm supposed to make something out of that. Okay. What this other stuff is. I'm sure it's, I don't know. Some kind of paper. But, of course, I always love, you know, I guess everybody does things different, but my, my thing is I want to do things like haphazardly like this, but I don't seem to be able to. It has to be like, I don't know, where it ends up looking like it's been placed there. And I don't want it to look that way. That's really pretty. I love that purple. Thank you, Roxy. Oh. Oh, we have some of the blue. So here goes, we got the blue, the green, the yellow. To make something. Those colors all look pretty together. I have to start making something that's more than just a flower or this or that. It seems like after I made that box, um, it I just, well, then I got involved in this moving my um, craft room to this small room and but I like it down here, and I like to be able to look through the window and everything. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Little cupcake. Pin cushion. I use all my pin cushions, too, if you look around. I used to think, well, how do people use all these pin cushions? And it feels like a wire or else maybe one of those, like, dangle earrings. I had sent. I love her pink, her pins. And then the little buttons at the bottom. Isn't that cute? I wonder what she stuffed it with. I never have luck unless I stuff them with a half or a whole styrofoam ball. They never, my, my things never want to stick in. That is really cute. Can you see it all? Oh, I'm pointing everything out, but you can see. And it's green and peach. And like a grayish. Beautiful. That is adorable. And see, I didn't look at any of this stuff down here. It may have fallen out or something, but I didn't look. And 
Ooh, we have some more beads. I definitely have to make some something with blue and pink and purple and green. And that would be nice to make. I could even cut it in eighths and make a a small doily. Actually, you haven't seen it yet, but I have made a smaller doily than just that one little square. And then this piece. Very nice. And if I were to cut these, I don't have any of that size. That cool looking. Thanks, Roxy. Sometimes when you think you're getting something of yours back, I mean, I can't remember usually who sends what. Then you start to think, oh, maybe I'm sending them the wrong things. I know I sent her something with blue in it, but it wasn't this. Isn't that pretty? Diana Baucus is the one that always likes um, the... Uh, what do you call that? Embroidery. That's a really pretty piece. Oh, I like that. See, Roxy usually, I'm, I probably make out better than her because I send her things and smaller things but I'm always sending her um, scraps and stuff because that's what she wants but I do usually make something too oh this is pretty maybe it was wrapped around here and I look at this bag hope you can all see okay pink and this is like a little cardboard the variegated cardboard she uses everything even oatmeal bags oh, she sent me some pictures because I'd asked her if she, if she would send me some pictures since my printer doesn't want to I did get another one, we'll see. I've never been able to print out yet a um, picture unless it was on paper. I'll pretty some gypsy ones. It'd be too hard for, you see, I like, I guess I like the ballerinas. this one so I throw her down and you know because I never had many I forget to put pictures in my things oh look at that little teddy bear mm A few teddy bears. I think I'm going backwards. I'm getting younger instead of older. Like teddy bears. When I was a kid, I don't remember. I think I had like Betsy Wetsy or something, but I don't remember liking any particular dolls. And I had a nun doll and a bride doll. Everybody thought it was going to be a nun. I told you that. When I went to my reunion, they said, so did you become a nun? I'm like, oh, heaven forbid. Those poor kids. Look how pretty. Very pretty. Samarana on like silk. 
they're lighter, they're harder to see. There was one I was trying to figure out what it was. Oh, this is a house, I think. So I asked her to send me extras and she did. Thank you, Roxy, so much. Now my printer doesn't work. I got a photo smart before because I thought, oh, photo. I was just thinking photo. You know, I'm having a really hard time lately. You know how bad I am with directions. Well, I've got another Kindle because I really miss reading and my iPad is locked. It won't unlock. My Kindle, it's sold. I guess the battery just doesn't want to hold the charge anymore. I could watch it on my phone, except every pat. It, oh my God, I just don't have the patience. I'll put a password in and it says it's not the right one, even though that's the one I have written down. Then it says, do you want to get a new one? So then I say, okay. So then I do that. And then it gives you this verification code. Then I use that. Then I, I still never, I, I've tried every night. I shouldn't try at night because then I get so mad I can't sleep. Everything. Everything. I, I'm, you know, I didn't get the printer hooked up yet. The smart TV my son bought me, you know, if it's so smart, why doesn't it just not need people? That's the kind I would like. Um, you know, I put Netflix on and it's like, okay, put your password in. And by the time you do all that, then it says, oh, it doesn't match this. And it's like, I, I call this number, I, I give up. It's like, I can't take one more thing that I have to do something to, to get a tour. Between that and those robocalls, those salespeople all day long, I swear. I'm like a raving maniac, which my sister told me today that I was last week, whatever. Well, she didn't say raving maniac. It was more like the B word. But oh, it's so, so frustrating. No matter, no matter what I do. Then I bought light bulbs. There must have been a reason why they were cheaper, but they they all worked. Except in my any of my lights, I guess the bottoms were too big. I have a hundred pair of scissors. Not one of them wants to cut right. Every time I find scissors, I buy them, like garage sales and stuff. So I try to find someone that sharpens scissors. I don't think they make that person anymore. It, it's so I try to use my knife thing. I mean, really, it's, it's frustrating to be in my head <laughs> in in my body. It's like, and I set something down before that I wanted to put on something. That's my problem. I keep setting things down. Well, you didn't hear the best part yet, but and like I'll come in the house and I'll set my purse here and this here. and But I had something I wanted to put on uh a flower that I wanted to put on a package to send. Well, so far I haven't, that's all I do. When I sit here to do this, I don't just sit here. I must get up 15 times. And then the last thing I find, oh, I don't have my phone. It's charging. I have to go get that. Then I have to come back and get something to drink. Then I have to get up and do something else. Well, let me tell you the creme de la creme. I thought I would faint. And um, I shouldn't even tell myself, really. But the roofers are doing the roofs here and everything. And I have a little problem with... I had my doors changed, the locks changed, and... I can't find the keys that are supposed to go to that 
lock, so I have one way in. So if I come in the garage, that's fine. But if I can't come in the garage, I have to come in the front door, which I don't have the key. So yesterday, and you know, I have that, um, one of those things my son got me for around your neck, you know, like kindergartners have. that you have all your keys and everything hanging on them. So I... But you have to take it off in order to put the key in the car. I mean, otherwise I'd be like, you know, yanking my neck. So we have to park in the front, like uh, on our side of the street. So I parked the car and I had all these groceries in my hand and it's not that easy to walk with my knee. So I had to walk across the street, not that it's far. And I must have taken that bunch of keys and thrown it on the chair on the porch and I brought all the stuff in and everything well it's funny how you have a sixth sense about something it wasn't anything specific but and the cat jumped off the bed like he heard something this morning but I know the roofers are all coming so 6 30 there's like a ton of noise well I never went out to the front porch till about one and I go out there and my whole set of keys, the whole nine yards for everywhere was sitting on the chair. Just so happens that they're using my electric because I'm so nice. And yesterday the guy put pulled it so tight, like, you know, they don't think that if you would have moved, if I would have moved, the table, so a good thing I noticed it, so I moved the table and everything so it wouldn't, somebody touch it, it wouldn't go. But one of the plants went over anyway. But my keys were sitting there. But I thought I would faint. I thought I would just, I mean, I have left them in the door before, maybe once or twice since I've been here. But every key I own was on there. I'm glad I gave those guys popsicles yesterday. Maybe that, I don't know. They all, they all seem like, you know, nice enough guys and everything. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know. Did I finish telling you the story about the dentist? I don't think I did. So anyway, today they called to confirm an appointment. And I said, really? I, I don't, I don't remember, but I remember thinking I had to make another appointment and I guess I did. And I said, cause don't forget now you have two Gale P's there. Now I can't say Gale, it's Gale. Um, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's Gale P. I can't do that anymore. So and then they sent me a bill once for one that I missed. So it could have been her. But you know, like I said, I, I said it must be that other lady for the seven o'clock appointment because I said no, it wouldn't be me. So then I said, well, we're gonna have to do something, you know, about this. Both spell the same. Fleming has one M. So I said, I know what we'll do. I said, I was li actually born Gail Lynn. And my passport and all that stuff says Gail Lynn. So when I went up to get my new driver's license, that was late. Uh, you have to take all this identification. And so they said I needed to put L on there. So my driver's license is Gail L. Fleming. So I told her, I said, it's going to be hard getting used to it. And everything else has P. Patricia was my baptismal name. And they wouldn't let me go to Catholic school without a saint's name. And Gail's not a saint's name. And Lynn is not a saint's name. So it had to be my confirmation name. Which was, um, it wasn't even my confirmation name. I don't know how I got that other name because it's Gail Lynn Patricia Ann. Ann's my confirmation name. Don't ask me what they did. 
but that's probably why I'm so screwed up. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm Gail L. And somebody will probably call me and I'll say, well, that's not me. But that was the story of the dentist. And I'm always flipping back and forth, I know. Okay. Oh, I like these when she puts the shine on them and makes them. I keep, I ask her and then I forget. Is that that, what's that stuff called? Scribbles or something? Is that what you put on top to make them like hard and, and then put the sprinkles on them? I love those babies, roses. I just love all these little things. I love them. Look at this. Isn't that cute? You can make this out of a, a toilet paper thing, too. I saw. I don't know if this matches this. Oh, pretty. Really pretty green with this. What, how do you think of these things? Ooh. Oh, we got orange. I'm going to have to send her some back because I sent her some orange. So she's going to have to do something with the orange. Orange looks really pretty with... I mean, orange isn't my most favorite color. But if you put it with... Now, orange was my son's favorite. Everything I bought him had to be orange. And my stepdaughter, too, I think. That was her. But orange and green and just just certain colors it it just looks nice with thank you roseanne and then she puts washi tape on it and you know i never use my washi tape i don't know what kind y'all get but mine never wants to stick it drives me nuts oh look at this with the middle little note on the back I love these things I hope you love all these little bitty bits I tried to think about what to give to someone who has everything I hope you can use what I sent I don't have everything these just I like the little things I always have my husband used to always go overboard thinking he had to buy me these big things. I like simple things. I like to go to simple places. I like simple things. My idea of a vacation is being by the water and reading. I am a very simple person. But, you know, he was so poor, lived in the projects when he was younger, and so to him, getting these things were like a gratification for him that he could do it, but he'd always tell everybody, you know, I, oh, I got this for Gail. I bought this for Gail. I mean, Gail never asked for it. Gail never even seen it. And whether it be cars or anything, not that I didn't appreciate it, but like, I love this room. I can come in here and feel happy and comforted and you know and there's plenty of people that say well what is, what is this for what do you do I mean they kind of look at it like are you crazy lady how old are you again but they don't see the beauty in things and they're usually the people that are I mean money helps everything of course but makes things easier if you have some, you know, enough to, I just want to, I said, if I ever won the lottery, I, what I want is, I just want to be able to go to dinner when I want to, go to the theater, go to New York. I love New York. I'm not a big traveler. Go to, have a place at the beach and have a chauffeur. That would be my my things. I could care less about the expensive clothes and, you know, 
jewelry's nice. I'm not saying I don't appreciate the jewelry that he got me, but it wasn't things I, I said, oh, I have to have this. You know, people thought I dragged him around places. And... Okay, here we go. All right, I bought some of these too. I don't know what they are. It's like a little shovel. Looks like those little things you can get to clean your ears with. But I know that's not what it's for. And then the other day, I started to think, well, maybe it's for um, glitter. I don't know what gave me that idea. Something I watched. And then there's another one that's flat. Now, is that to smush down stuff? I ordered them because I thought they were pretty, but I have don't have the foggiest idea of what to do with them. This is pretty. I like the way she colors things in, bring out the colors in it. And she's got so many things to do that sometimes I wonder, well, how does she stop and just do that stuff? And it makes me mad because I can't think of these little things to do. <laughs> Even when I send her scraps, they look pretty scrappy when I send them to her. I'm trying to fold them a little nicer instead of just shoving them in a bag. Did I show you this already? No, oh, I don't think so. Oh, we've got more orange beads. Unless she's like me, sometimes I forget and I give people two things. No, no, this is the orange. Well, I better get busy making something. I just won't send it to her. I'll keep it. I have a really pretty orange bow thing that came on something, ribbon. And remember that thing I got from Harbor Freight that everybody was getting? And I think I'm the only one that decorated mine. It's orange and it's got the orange buttons and orange flower and everything on it. Both of them do actually. And it looks pretty. I'd like to see somebody else's because somebody, they were on sale. Somebody told somebody about them pretty soon. Everybody was talking about them. So I go up and get like five. I did two of them. I gave a couple away. And I haven't seen any that anybody else did. Oh, I like that. To hang on things at the, the side on the end. I still, um, Nola had sent me, I can't believe she cut them all, all these white long ones for me. I'll try to show you the other one I made. I'm not quite done with it yet, but then I wanted to do a white one. And I said, if you have like them in strips, well, she cut them all in strips for me. I mean, that's a friend. So you guys need to um, go over to Nola's channel on mess. You know, you could get her on messenger, but it's um, also um, Nola at Noni's Attic, I believe. Nona at Nola's. No, Nona at Nola's. No. Nola at Noni's Attic on Facebook. She's got some really nice things. And she's such a sweetheart. She tries to give you what you want. And she's just... A people pleaser and she pleases you oh this is pretty this could be a little bag too or is it aha what is it with me the with bags my husband had a thing with like suitcases and traveling bags and stuff I have a thing with bags Someday I'll show you all my bags, but I use them. Like that potato bag I told you I had, well, I have an onion bag too. They're, they're brand new. 
that I'd gotten from Cleveland at a, um, a, a um, like a flea market thing. Another one. Okay, you have to tell me what this stuff is. Final. Oh, yeah, it looks like vinyl, some kind of vinyl, but it's real light. Unless it's wallpaper, but I don't think wallpaper is that heavy. Isn't it funny? Everybody, wait, let me see. Scrubbable, strippable, pre-trimmed. Vinyl wall covering. Aha! Uh -huh. Backed vinyl wall covering. Well, that's pretty cool. Remember when we all had wallpaper? And then, it's just like everything. You know, we all had carpeting. Hardwood floors first, they were older. Then everybody got carpeting. Now everybody's taking out the carpeting, putting hardwood floors back in. So if you keep what you have, you're right back in style. That is cute. <laughs> that orange looks pretty with the blue. Yeah, everything, everything comes back around. If we could be hoarders, um, which people that don't know about this stuff think I am when they look, they come in here, they go, oh my God, you're becoming a hoarder. I'm like, oh, well, mind your own business. I'm having fun. Make a nice little flower out of this one. Or I can hang it on my strip that I'll show you in a minute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. See, I always feel like I I don't um, send all these, most of these things. I remember sending her these. I'm like, I don't know what to do with these. And the dark blue flowers and look at the little pictures and this you know I actually have more of this but I thought I wasn't sure if you liked it or not so I wasn't gonna send it so you tell me if you want me to and I love all this I have a bunch of different colors too that I've scent and I have more pink and blue like who would have thought and all these little flowers and I know I had sent her these dark blue ones and probably the beads I have to get back into that I remembered Tell us about the beads. And I did do it a few times and I even recognized the buttons. Yeah, I have a bunch of colors of this stuff if you need any more. Do you, so they don't fall off? What I did had to do with mine was spray some adhesive over top. So they didn't um it's thank you so much. You know what I did today? I was just trying it and it's probably something people have been doing, but you know how when you cut out petals and stuff and they tell you to you know, you put the the uh, over a candle and stuff well you know that hot blower thing a lot of us have that's really hot if you hold that on here it will also bend see, i was trying to fool around with it to see i might have got a little too close with this one let's see so 
you know, this contraption here. I don't know what I'd do without it, though. start <laughs> this I just love this thing I think something's missing here but like I told you something's missing off all my things every bottle every thing of medicine cream um, lotion, paint, I have tops all like in one place, but I never take the time to match them back up. I'm just a mess. But this, the best tip I ever got, I told you was from Maggie White when she told me, I said, how do you get something off once it's on there? And she said, just put this on it for a second and it'll come right off. And it does. The hot glue melts. Just be careful you don't burn your whatever it is you're trying to do. But yeah, you could use that. And it will curl your little things that you cut out. There may have been a few more little things that I, little flowers that I put away. Just because they had fallen out of here. And we weren't sure, like, you know, Diana wasn't sure which boxes were going here or there. And so we got things a little mixed up. Oh, look at that. That's cute. That's that. Oh, there's a little rhinestone in there. Oh, then we have two colors. So we're getting fancy there. Cute. Handmade blue green scraps okay so um let's see here blue green aha i could tell i sent her some of these and she made them bluish green she knows i like that color These are nice to make the little scrap things from. Oh, that's a really pretty color. You have to tell me how. My colors sometimes get too, I don't know. I have fun seeing how they're gonna come out. I actually did mix colors enough to where I had like a gray and I had a brown. Hand dyed blue green scraps. Very cute. You have to tell me her mixture combination. Because some I'll use like alcohol ink, and then some of it I buy that red dye, and I'll just add a little bit of that. Then I add water. I love these. like a little carnation and the purple and the green I'm gonna have to make you something Roseanne I do try to when I do make something I try to make it um well I guess you'd say big like that mushroom house tree whatever it was <laughs> With all the trims around it, I can get carried away. And look at this bag she made. She tied it on the sides. 
Hey, all this stuff takes a lot of time. Plus, she's doing that, um, oh, she's a designer, what is it, K, um, KSP? Um, she's the des design person um, for that. And I don't know how that works, that's for a month. I can't even figure out what I'm doing, yet alone what everybody else is doing, but so and they're trying to get their house in Trona done and I mean it's not like a hop skip and a jump for them they have to like drive for a ways pull this up here oh, I'm gonna move it over here These are all flowers. Another one of these. I love the little flowers because you can put them in so many things. Look at that. You know, I see people make flowers out of muslin. I don't know what they do to make the muslin look raggedy. And I and tea dyed like i tried the tea dye once didn't look too didn't do look too good to me but i'll try it again or coffee dyed you know what i did once i wanted a coffee dye after i was done with my coffee i threw a couple beans <laughs> some little things in there to see how it would work but it wasn't black coffee I'm always in too good of a rush. I want instant gratification. Look at this. I mean, she uses, I swear, every little scrap. And half of them, or more than half, she knows where she gets them from. And I make a flower, like that one I made. I can't stop. At where it was. I have to put all that other stuff on it. But I like these little rolled roses. And I like this one too. Look. It looks fancy and yet it looks easy. Little blue one. I like these little ones. Gosh, I know I gave her something with polka dots. I always like when I was younger, I always wore a lot of polka dots. I even have polka dot shoes. Well, not even that much younger, but I remember wearing it to a wedding once and I had a big hat on. I loved hats and I had a big, it was red and red with black polka dots and white and I had a real big red hat on always the cat's meow not know anymore that's pretty i love that that's one of those curled up things i was telling you about My goodness. I must be trying to get a clean slate so she could start over with these flowers. Look at this from a sorry. I'm sorry, so sorry. Won't you accept my apology? That's pretty. You ever get on YouTube and you happen to hit one of those ones where one of the kids are singing on, you know, one of those, they're not dancing, but the singing ones and the little, there was a little girl on there the other day that, oh, 
He's saying just like Sarah Brightman. And then pretty soon I'm, it's like 12 o'clock at night and then it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm still watching him. Gives me the chills. I wish I could sing or do something. Well, this is pretty. Like a yellow with satin. You know, of all the satin I have from all those dresses, I think I would make some satin ones. I need to sit down and just do, well, look at how that pretty that is. I just like do flowers one day. Pretty. And I tell her, you know, I send her scraps and stuff. She doesn't have to. You know, for me, it's not a tit for a tat. That's for sure. Somebody feels like sending something fine. If they don't, that's fine too. Or if I could help get someone started. I think I have with a few people. They're just starting out sent them stuff so they could get moving because the more you get moving then the more people know you and then you get they share more stuff what's the saying purple and the pretty you get what you Put out there or something like that. I love giving people things that I know they appreciate. I'm like that with everything until I, if I feel like someone's taking advantage, then I back right off. But, um, I really like, if I know people really appreciate stuff, I I like giving it to them. And it's always fun to receive too. Because that makes the other person feel good. And it can't be one-sided. They say if it's always one-sided, then it's like a, a power thing. You feel like you have more power than the other person or you can do more for the other person or something. That was something I got in counseling. Because I'm a giver and yet I, and like most of us, I guess, and getting is, receiving is harder for me. Especially if I know, you know, people are struggling or they don't have as much stuff. That's why I like to send whatever I can. And it's not like I don't have enough stuff. It's just a matter of a lot of it is postage, especially international. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. And I also like when people are specific, you know, if I'm going to send them something and I ask them what they need or, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, well, if you have any of this, if you have any of that, because I hate sending things that someone doesn't want or like or they give away because I, mean, I don't care if you give it away but if someone wants it but not just you know to get rid of it even when i give people or my kids like furniture or different things that i had or something special i'd always say if you decide you don't want it anymore you ask me first if i want it back before you go selling it or giving it to somebody else um one time, um, our building, 
we had our business next door, we had owned the, it was just like an old house and it had like a little side apartment. Well, my daughter um, was stayed there with her boyfriend. She was a little bit older. And um, then she decided she didn't want to be there anymore. And I went over there one day and everything was gone. And she decided that um, her boyfriend was uh, a twin. And both brothers played baseball, but the one was a professional in a professional league. Not that that matters, but I said, I mean, it was kind of, I bought nice stuff. It was like an Ethan Allen, um, um, what do you call that thing? called a some kind of bench and then you have the telephone there and uh because I've done a few places like that where we've had like these little cottage places right you know at our house and I loved getting you know all that stuff and um she said well I went ahead and gave it to his parents because, you know, they don't have that much stuff. Like that was her decision to make, right? Well, unfortunately, they haven't changed much. It's like, you know, I was nice enough to give you all this and make it look nice for you. And you just decided to give it away without asking me. So I changed my perspective after that. I sure did. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. That I don't know why I said, oh, well, something I forgot to put into somebody's box. Why I started this, but I had seen it on a channel. And I need to put some more, can you see it okay? Things in there. And there's supposed to be a middle flower there that looks like it fell off. Here it is. Here's the middle flower <laughs> for the middle. And they put some necklaces between it and it's not very straightened out right now I have to finish it and I keep thinking well I don't know who would want who would want it but I liked it and then I want to make one I saw which is white so I don't know what it is I don't know what it's called I just know that I liked it So tell me what you think. And then this for these at the end. They had something else at the end, but I had these flowers, so I put them in. So I have a few more to stick in the middle because it looks a little bare. It's a little bare. And look at this, this is something. I guess I was going to send it to somebody. Oh, good thing I saw this. I wondered where this was. Oh, and here's a flower that I made. You'll see it if she does a, a video or does something. I will show you how it's actually a music box, so I didn't decorate it.
That's what friends are for. And on here you can't see it, but there's Lucy and um, Ethel. Like my floor. Well, I'm glad I did show you my thing and I wasn't going to. Or I would have forgotten that. Well, it looks like I'm over four pounds again. I'm just going to have to um, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Buy more packages. And oh gosh, I'll tell you what, this knee is not cooperating very much. But for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, these things we got from Harper Freight. It's were for tools. They were plain. I still have one upstairs, a plain one. And you put tools and everything in it. Well, I decorated it. It was somebody else had gotten one first. And they said they were on sale. And so I decorated it all. And I, I put cardboard and lining at the bottom. And this on the sides. And this is where I keep all my, it's coming off, my tools for like the hangers and the jewelry stuff and everything like that. I think they're so cool. Then I did this one. This one's for all my scissors. I told you I had a lot of scissors. Too bad if you want to get one sharp. And then I should have gotten more of this. They had this on sale the other day too, just a little bit of it. Oh, that goes, that's supposed to be the pocket. I don't know. But see, they all have, oh, this is heavy. They all have these things in here, pockets to put all your scissors and stuff. Or like I said, it's for tools. And then, now my finger's stuck. And then I have all my scissors in here that, you know, make the different designs. But I had a lot of fun making it. And then I put these big buttons I had on here. And see, this is all, oh, this butterfly looks like he's, or whatever it is. See, I use orange. But you should get your butt over there. They may still have them. I haven't looked. If anybody wants me to look, I will. I mean, I think they were, I don't know if anybody remembers six bucks or something but um i really use mine and if i'm going to someone's house to um craft or something i like this to craft you know i'll throw all my stuff in i like the butterfly in that one that's what i should do I should do another one. Like I said, I have my next one upstairs. I did give one away, a regular one, so they could make something. But if anybody's made theirs, I'd like to see it. But I have a funny feeling not too many people did. Um, and it wasn't hard. Okay. I can't think of anything else. Um, I'm trying to change places around as I'm doing the videos. So um, a couple people said they like to look at the stuff in the room. 
rather than me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and I try to keep everything as much as I can out that people made me because I mean that's the best part of it. I mean, why do they want to make you something if they can't see it? And I could tell you who made everything. And uh, I can't tell you where I get everything from, but I can tell you who made everything. I made the clock. Of course, it doesn't look like it's ticking. So, anyway, I'm still working on it. So I'll switch around every once in a while so you can see everything. And then these things that I got here were godsend, really. I have all these shelves to put stuff on. So it's cozy. All right. I'll stop now. I'm way, way over. Plus, now I have to figure out how to splice the two again. Might be a part one and two. Just something else I can't figure out. And <laughs> frustrate me. Um, so, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Have a nice weekend. And I'm caught up with all my beautiful happy mail and I'm so honored that people think to even send me happy mail and I'm trying to get back to watching more videos and everything I see I want to do um, but there's so only so many hours in a day right and I don't and this is pretty much what I've been doing because I probably have the dustiest house on the street plus they've been doing the roof oh my gosh 6 30 in the morning they're coming down the street and then they're pounding and but at least we'll have a nice new roof and the one guy I did get him I said I'd pay him if he would clean out my dryer vent because I think that's I didn't want to call it the appliance guy yet because and because I thought maybe it was a heating element but last time I called him for the same thing he said there was pretty much stuff up there and he got a lot of it out from the bottom but he said I need to clean from the top so before I call him back out if it's something else I want to make sure I did that and like I said, I gave them all, Diana had bought these coconut, I don't know, pineapple bars, like popsicles. So I gave, well, I didn't give all of them. There's actually 30 guys working in this neighborhood, in this development. But the ones that are right here, I gave them all popsicles. And then I didn't go to the store or have anything else so I made a bunch of ice cubes tonight with um raspberry lemonade I thought it's just so hot and I know you know um since we you know have a roofing company and uh, mostly you know Mexicans are the ones that are doing it because um you know they want money where uh, our guys and stuff, you know, live around here. They don't want to get hot and sweaty. I mean, these poor guys, they wear long shirts, um, long sleeve shirts and hats and everything, but it's still hot. I know they're used to the weather, but it's still friggin' miserable out there. So... I, I remembered one word when I went out there. I said, oh, caliente. <laughs> so I always try to interact with people and learn a little bit at the same time. So then he told me, I asked him about what is cold. How do you say cold? 
I, I literally drive people crazy with that kind of stuff. But, oh well. All right. Um, I want to tell my sister happy birthday. I better call her before it's too late. But she's in California, so she's three hours behind. She has a channel, but I think maybe it's just private. Elaine Horsley. If anyone wants to tell her happy birthday. I'm not sure. She doesn't. I mean, she's got things on there, but nothing specific. She should put her um, uh, what are they called that she makes? Um, um, oh, my mind just uh, you know the square patches and you sew them all together. I can't think. But she should put them on there. And, um, uh, but anyway, it's her birthday and she's younger than me. I'm the oldest, unfortunately. So, if you want to, if it's not a private, you may have a private. Go over and tell her happy birthday. Say my your sister said to your sister sent me over to say you're getting older, you're catching up to her. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Love y'all, and um, that's all I could think of. Aren't you glad? And everybody's who's waiting for a package from me. I mean, they have been waiting a while. Um, you think this was long. They've been waiting a while. It's almost taped up and ready to go. So, they'll be getting it soon. I'm happy to say. Okay, bye. Love you.